Hey guys, welcome back to Maelstrom Gaming Studios. I'm Craig and today we have a quick channel update video for you guys. We got a lot of things to talk about, a giveaway here at the end of the video, so stay tuned to that. So we're just gonna dive right in, go here. So first let's just talk about how the channel's been doing. Channel growth has been solid. Uh, really cool to see. Uh, we are so, so close to 3,000 subscribers, maybe, if you are sitting on the fence right now. Do it, help us get to 3,000. By last time I looked, I think we were at 2,960, so almost there. This time last year, we were almost to 1,000, so it awesome growth. Thank you for everyone who has been supporting us through our YouTube growing process. It's been a, it's been a journey, and we're happy to keep it going. The next big goal is 5,000. Uh, maybe that'll come in another year's time. Maybe it'll be quicker depending on how you guys like our videos and the support we get from the community, 5,000 is the next big goal. The next next big goal is to get big enough for the 10th edition launch box. I know it's probably not for another year from now, maybe a little bit less than a year from now, but about a year from now, and I would love so much if we could get the 10th edition launch box, so the equivalent of Indominus, early so we could show it off for you guys uh, kind of establish ourselves into the the community as one of those bigger players. So that's a big goal. I have no say in how that gets established. That is all on GW. So we got to get big enough for GW to notice us and potentially uh, work with us there. So that's the big, big goal, big picture we have in mind for a year or so down the road. So that's that. Some other growth options uh, I'm looking at right now, maybe your opinions on these. Now, I want to obviously, we want to make the, con the content better here. We're working on, we'll talk about it later, but ways to make the battle reports even better. And I want to know, you know, from you guys, what sort of content you want to see, what would make it, the videos better uh, from your viewer perspective as well. Uh, YouTube Shorts is something I really despise, but the YouTube algorithm seems to be loving them these days. So... I'm looking to start doing a few of those here and there. By no means am I switching to only those. I would, I would hate it. But uh, I do want to try out some things like maybe some battle report trailers and maybe some other uh, short, short form, 30 second to a minute content. Let me know what you guys think if you have any other suggestions for that. Just want to play around with it because of the YouTube algorithm is such a, a fickle god. It's the fifth chaos god itself or sixth, whichever one you want to call. I also do want to consider posting some of these videos on Rumble. Uh, it is a YouTube alternative and it is growing uh, pretty good now. They've got a lot of UI updates or some more UI updates coming and there's ways for monetization and all sorts of stuff there. So uh, maybe if you're someone who considers switching to Rumble, we'll try and support there. Still keep posting on YouTube. I would just post the same, like if we did Bell Report, it would be the same time, same, um, same place, same everything there. What's next in terms of the channel? A couple things here. Uh, there's a narrative campaign in the works. Members, you've seen like the first four episodes. We have the final episode of this kind of section, phase, chapter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for now, that is been recorded and we just need to edit it and put it up. Members, you will see that hopefully soon. Uh, Non-members, you guys will see that probably not until October. I have a specific time when I need that content out there, so it'll come out to you guys later. Horus Heresy 2.0, we have talked about wanting to do this. Uh, it is a process, we have video ideas. Mainly the thing holding back is that I've got a lot going on and painting my salamanders is taking a while. You guys can see right here, we have uh, my 360 of what I have built or painted so far, and that is my Praetor, I don't even know. He's my, my leader, my warlord, Thunderhammer, Storm Shield, Cataphracty, Terminator, and then he's got his, five of his bodyguard. There are nine of them that eventually I'll have, but for now I have the first five built and painted, and now I'm working, getting a couple of tactical marines painted up and converting pyro class and then painting my contemptors. So, Slowly working on it there. I think our plan is eventually, once I get enough started, we're gonna do a slow grow campaign, escalation campaign style thing. So I'll have 
Sam and I will do maybe three or four games over the course of, I don't know, a month or two, and they'll each slowly get bigger, probably go from 1,000 points to 3,000 points, roughly. We'll see what happens. Uh, so that's that. Uh, if you've got other ideas for 30K stuff you want to see, let us know. Let Sam know down in the comments because he is going to be our spearhead for 30K slash horse heresy content. And for Warhammer 40K content, uh, always more Tyranid stuff. I'm not going to stop that. You know I love my Tyranids. I want to continue to improve the battle reports. Tell me in the comments what you want to see from battle report improvements. We just filmed one last night where I tried to make the battle reports a little more interactive, really use that free cam a lot more than we have been in the past. So unfortunately that one, because of scheduling orders, won't come out for a little under a month now, but uh, you'll still see some more cool stuff. And the other one I do want to hopefully get back into is more tournament coverage. I know two, three weeks ago I did a tournament review of a couple lists. Uh, I have been out of the turn tournament scene for two months now. I just, I've been so busy. It just happened that every time I had a free weekend, there was no tournament available to go to. And every time I had a busy weekend, there were plenty of tournaments that I could have gone to. So unfortunate that the schedule just hasn't worked out these past two months for me to go to any tournaments, but I do have my eyes set on a couple of them here, at least one in August, at least one in September, maybe one in October, and then a big one in November. So I at least want to start providing more tournament coverage of my own experiences, as well as trying to cover more of the big events, see how Tyranids are doing, or maybe some other top lists. Would you guys be interested in seeing tournament coverage of just top lists in general, or are you more uh, Tyranid focused as I assume most of you are. So questions for you guys there, but that is kind of how 40K is going. Quick Etsy update. So this has been a long time coming and I just, again, been busy, haven't gotten to it, but we have added more token sets for you guys. The Necrons have got their token sets. You can see Connors right here. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. That didn't work. Oh wait, it did. Sorry if I'm spamming that. There we go. So we've got some tokens here. Um, you know, whatever. They're exactly the same as the Tyranid ones. They're just um, Necrons. And then we have Grey Knights and we have Thousand Suns. So those are the three new ones added. I will be, once these ones are situated and the Etsy shop is up and running with them, which it should be at the time of filming this, or time of you guys watching this, they should all be up and running. I also want to start doing Gene Sealer Cult and Admech. Those are the other two that kind of have a heavy command phase or just abilities to keep track of. All armies do, but if there are other token uh, faction sets you want, let me know down in the description. I am also looking at updating the Tyranid set. I do realize I have there are like three or four tokens that are missing. Things like the Behemoth, the, the faction or the high fleet specific bonuses like Behemoth and Gorgon and, uh, and Leviathan are the three specific ones that come to mind. Things like those I have kind of forgotten and I've kind of put off to do it. So I might update those. Maybe I'll allow it for people to buy those updated ones at a small price. I won't get much out of it, but I want to give you guys everything offered. So that is also something I am looking at doing. And fine, well, not finally, before we get to the giveaway, we have one more thing I want to talk about. And it's the next big addition to the channel. And that would be for battle reports and for other things, because it's a, it can be multi-use, will be a camera for a top-down view. I, I realize with our battle reports, the way we are filming them right now head on and then a free cam moving around is great, but it is also important and it could potentially help speed up the battle reports if we just have a top-down view that you guys can see everything going on at once. Just, I think the more camera angles, the better too, so you're not staring at a static screen so much. So that is something I'm looking at. And I, like I have said in the past, I wanna be very transparent with you guys where channel member money and Etsy money is going. It is all support in this channel right now. So uh, this is the camera I'm looking for. It can be a a 4K, I mean, it can, it is a 4K camera, should provide me with the perfect uh, top-down view for crisp detail 
that you guys need to pick out all of the models on the table. Currently have about 75% of the funding we need. Not only do we need the camera, but we need the camera uh, special lens in order to get the landscape shot that we need for here. And then we also need uh, dummy batteries, chargers, and special HDMI camera or cords. So all of that, we have 75% of the funding, so we're close there. Thank you members, you really are the, the linchpin behind this. Uh, I, one thing I do wanna try, another question for your comments down below. Maybe I'll put a pinned comment here and just like the pinned comment if you're interested, is I am debating adding a $1 membership as like a thanks for, thanks for the channel type of thing. Not, you're not gonna get anything outside of like some, you know, emojis or whatever we have as a sp specific channel stuff but uh, it'd just be that in terms of comments it's just one dollar thanks as a thanks for us doing our con creating content here and just a little bit of help if you'd be interested in just doing something like that let me know like that little comment button down below comment if you have questions on it just another way to help raise money for funding this and if you do want to help support us uh Etsy shop is another way you can support us. Really, if we sold like 10 of each of these new faction tokens, we'd have enough to, to finish off all of this. So buying those if, you, if they are useful for you. And then finally, uh, a way to help support us would be to check out Snot Goblin Gaming. And let's get into that because that is a big one. So this is the giveaway. Uh, first off, the Kickstarter for Snot Goblin Gaming. You've seen our videos on, if you haven't, uh, one of these comment, one of these here will be a battle report, and I will also put up a review video that we did on this modular terrain. Let me just, uh, hopefully don't turn the camera. This is fully modular terrain. I'm not gonna do a full review here, but as you can see, pulled apart, put it back together. Super, super fun to play with, and you can make a wide variety of terrain boards. Anyway, that is gonna be August 9th is the official launch date. So use the link. We will have, at the time, a, a link in all of our videos that is for that. That is an affiliate link. If you use that to purchase anything through the Kickstarter, which is a fully funded UR guaranteed product and all of it, then that, some of that money comes back to us and that just really supports us. So we'd appreciate that if you're interested to use that link. Now for the giveaway. The giveaway is a goblin hut, as he is calling it. So you can see it is a small chunk of the terrain. And this is essentially a free sample uh, of, uh, of terrain if you're interested in it. So we have right now 40 of them uh, available as a giveaway. And this is gonna be a first come, first serve style giveaway. It is only US based for the giveaway. The whole Kickstarter will be UK, US, and Canada. But for this giveaway, because shipping a ton of these little things over to Europe would be a ton of money right now. Uh, it is just gonna be US based. So there's another link in the description. Click on it, you sign up for a reminder about the Kickstarter. Use the code in the affiliate link, MGS01, and, and that will uh, just notify that we sent you there and you will get a little piece. It is a what, six by three inch L-shaped ruin uh, six inches tall in the middle uh, for for terrain, just as a sample if you're interested. So do that. First, 40 US people will get it. Now members, if you haven't seen it on the Discord already, you have a special code that I, I'm not gonna say here because that would ruin it, but go to the Discord if you want a special code. Basically, we have a set guarantee amount, so every member who wants one can get one. So. That is a special thing for members. Um, I am not a, truly running this giveaway. I have no interaction besides sharing it here. So uh, if you need rules, there'll be some rules in the description, but everything is done through It's not Goblin Gaming. So check out, those, check out those links, check out the giveaway, check out the Etsy shop, everything we are doing to help us. And that's, that's what we got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you everyone who supports us in the growth. This has been really a ton of fun. It's been a long time coming that we've actually wanted to do this. And now that we're more serious about it, we're having a lot of fun. So thank you to the awesome community that you guys are. And we'll catch you next time here at Maelstrom Gaming Studios.